हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज डॉक्टर कविता उपाध्याय आई एम एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग इन आई पी एस अकेडमी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड साइंस इंदौर आई पी एस अकेडमी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड साइंस इज यू जी सी ऑटोनॉमस इंस्टीट्यूट एफिलेटेड बाय आर टुडे वी आर कवरिंग अ टॉपिक इन डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स दैट इज डिजाइनिंग ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट वी विल लर्न अबाउट द स्टेप्स ऑफ uh designing process so first we will start from what is the uh, combinational circuit in digital electronics there are two types of circuit one is combinational circuit and second one is sequential circuit one is combinational circuit combinational circuits are devices circuits whose output depend on the present input only when we are talking about combinational circuit there are multiple there can be multiple output in the device and there can be multiple input in this so in this combinational circuit this output will depend only on this present input which we are giving but in sequential circuit the another type in the di digital electronics sequential circuit output of the sequential circuit will depend on the this multiple output will depend on the present input as well as previous output which was the previous output according to that the output will be uh, declared so for this output we have to use a memory device the data of output will store in the memory and then it will be fed into input so this output will depend on this present input as well as the previous output which is stored in the memory or uh, previous output just before the clock pulse so today we are uh, learning about the designing of this combinational circuit how we will design the different types of combinational circuit so what are the combinational circuit uh, when we are talking about the digital electronics uh, in digital electronics we learn about the different uh, codings different codings like gray code access 3 code and so many codes are there so when we are talking about that we will transfer the data through the different coding like in access 3 code or in gray code so how we will convert this gray code how we will convert our data in the gray code we will not convert this uh, manually so we have to required a digital device a logical device which converts a digital data into gray code so uh, just take example of uh, combinational circuit that is code converter binary to accessory code converter binary to accessory code converter it will be a combinational circuit so we will learn about the designing of a device which will convert a binary data to access 3 code when we are talking about a binary to access 3 code so uh, if we will talk about a block diagram of this device there will be suppose we are taking 4 bit binary to gray code so there will be four input suppose this four input is a b c d and we talk about the access 3 code if we have sorry it will be bcd to access 3 so when we talk about the bcd to access 3 so there will be four input a b c d so this bcd can be from 000 to 1001 so it will be a b c d the different combination of this a b c d will be 000 000 001 0010 Zero one double zero, zero one zero one, zero one one zero, zero triple one, one triple zero, and one zero zero one. This is our BCD data zero to nine. When we have to convert this BCD data in BCD data into access three code, so this access three data will be for. Zero 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 access three. You know about the access three means we have to add three in BCD 
that will be 0, 0, 1, 1. So we will get the XF, XS3 data. So XS3 of 0, 0, 0 will be 0, 0, 1, 1. XS3 of 1 will be 0, 1, double 0. XS3 of 2 will be 0, 1, 0, 1. XS3 code for 3, it will be 0, 1, 1, 0. For 4, it will be 0, triple 1. For 5, it will be 1, double, triple 0. For 6, the XS3 will be 1, 0, 0, 1. For 7, XS3 data will be 1, 0, 1, 0. For 8, it will be 1, 0, 1, 1. And for 9, it will be 1, 0, sorry, 1, 1, 0, 0. So here it is the table of BCD to XS3 code. It means there will be 4 input A, B, C, D. And there will be 4 outputs. Suppose it is W, X, Y and Z. So here it is W, X, Y and Z. So this is, this table is known as characteristic table of BCD to XS3 code converter. This table is characteristic table of BCD to XS3 code converter or it can be uh, known as truth table of this code converter. So according to this truth table, we have to design our combinational circuit. Now what we have to do, this is a data, this is the combinational circuit which converts BCD data into XS3 code. It means this W, this W will be, will depend on four input. It will be A, B, C and D. So the uh, Boolean function for W will be uh, four variable Boolean function. With this variable will be A, B, C, D. Similarly, X, X will have a Boolean function again of four variable a b c d so this x will depend on a b c d next y this function will also depend on a b c d and z will be also a function of a b c d now we have to find out this boolean function so we can implement this boolean function and we can find this combinational circuit so how we will uh, find this boolean function now look at the truth table this w this w is equals to 1 when when the input a b c d is a complement b c complement d it is 0 1 0 1 if we will write this 0 1 0 1 into variable form so it will be a complement b c complement d or we can find out this boolean function through k map also in the k map, uh, we what we do uh, this boolean function when we get the boolean function equals to one, so that's uh, that mean term will be entered in the k map. So we will start from the k map. We will make a boolean function for w using k map. So suppose we are finding out the boolean function for w, we are making a K map, we will require four variable K map. This four variable K map, the input of this four variable K map will be A, B, C, D. Now, how we will make the entries of K map? It will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 or 1, 0. Or you can mention it in the variable form. It can be A complement, B complement, A complement, B, A, B or A, B complement. We are taking A, B variable in row. In column, we will take C, D. So it will be C complement, D complement, C complement, D, C, D and C, D complement. Now we have to make the entries. How we will make the entries? Now, when we are getting 1 for W, it is for 0, 1, 0, 1. So, for the 0, 1, 0, 1, we have to make the entry 1. So, here it is 0, 1, 0, 1. Next one, we are getting on the 0, 1, 1, 0. So, here it is 0, 1, 1, 0. Next one, we are getting on 0, triple 1. Next, we are getting on 1, triple 0. So, here it is 1, triple 0. 
next we are getting it is on 1001 now what about the terms from 9 to 15 we are using the bcd to access 3 code so we don't care about the values after the 9 so 10 to 15 terms will be considered as don't care condition or don't care terms so we will make the entries of don't care terms here like this now we have to make the grouping in the kma for the minimization or for the getting boolean function we use the uh, grouping how we will make the groups we will make the group of 2 to the power k where k can be equals to 1 2 3 and so on it means we have to make the group of 2 we can make the group of 4 or we can make the group of 8 16 and so on and first we will make the largest group so we have to make the largest group we can get if we consider this don't care condition as 1 then we can make a group of 8 let me take a another color chart so it will be very much clear for you so we are making a group of 8 like this we are making a group of 8 theek okay. hai now the second group which second group we can make let me take another chalk so the second group will be we can make a group of 4 called and another we can make a group of 4 this one so we have made three groups one is oct one group is consisting eight members next group of 4 and another one group of 4 so how we will mention how we will write the boolean function for this so w will be equals to suppose first we will write the term corresponding to to this oct so here a is same b is changing and c and d is changing in the column so the minimize expression will be a for this group for this group now next for this second group here in this row a is changing from 0 to 1 b is same so first expression first term will be b and the second term for this c is same d is changing so second term will be c so here it is c so second term will be bc and what about third next is this group so for this again the a is changing b is same so b will be as it is and here c is changing from 0 to 1 d is at is it as it is so here it is the expression a plus bc plus bd so this expression is for w only so we have find out this expression for w so w is a function of a b c d here it is a b c and d now we will find out the function for x now for x also we will check where is the entry 1 where is the output 1 for x so we will make the another k map for w so for x again the input will be ab and cd so it will be 00011110 when the output x is 1 1 when input is 0001 so here it is 0001 next 0010 next 011 then 0100 and after that it is on 1009 so here it is 1009 again here also from 10 to 15 we don't care about the output so this terms will consider as don't care term so we will make the entry don't care now here also we have to make the group how we will make the group you know the k map is a we can roll this k map 
so this uh, row and this row can be adjusted in row so we can make the group of this 2 1 and this 2 like this the another this is one this one is left this one is left so we can make the another group like this still this one is remaining so we can make the group of this one like this here again we made three groups two are called and one is pair so what will be the expression for w uh, x so expression for this first group here this row and this row is involved in this row a is changing and B's value is 0. So, it will be B complement and in column C is changing but D is at is as it is. So, it is B complement D. Now, for, some, for second chord, this row and this row again A is changing, B is at is as it is. So, here it is B complement and in column C is as, as it is and D is changing. So, here it is B complement c next this pair now for this pair in this row a is changing but b is as, as it is and c complement and d complement as is as it is you know very well when we make the group of 2 to the power k in k map when we will make the group of 2 to the power k in k map so k number of variables will absorb it means when we make the group of 2 to the power 1, it means k equals to 1. So, one variable will absorb. It means when we make the group of this pair, among the 4 variable, one variable absorb and 3 variables are as it is. If we will make the group of 2 to the power 2, it means k equals to 2. It means in grouping, 2 variables will absorb. So, when we make the chord group a chord, so in A, B, C, D, two variables absorbs A, B or A, C. So, here A and C is absorbed, remaining variables are B and D, only two variable left. It means two variable absorbed. So, when we make the group of 2 to the power k, so k number of variables absorb in this term. Similarly, here we make the group of 8, it means 2 to the power 3. So, 3 variable absorb. So, yahan par jo expression mein bacha term, so mein kitna bacha only one variable left. So, A is there and 3 variable B, C, D get absorbed. Okay. So, here we get the expression for W and X. Now, we have to find the expression for Y and Z. Now, for the Y and Z, again we will make K map. Again input will be A, B, C, D. So, here it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. My drawing and writing is very much poor. So, kindly consider. So, Y, when we are getting Y, Y, we are getting Y equals to 1 when 0, 0, 0 is A, B, C, D is 0, 0, 0. It means this is the block when a b c d is 0 0 0 next we are getting 1 when 0 0 input is 0 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 1 means we are getting here okay then for 4 0 1 double 0 then it is for 0 triple 1 it's for 7 then it's for 8 so here it is 8 again from 10 to 15, there will be don't care term. So, here it is 10, 11, sorry, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This terms will be don't care terms. So, we will make the entry cross. Now, how we will make the group here? There will be two chord in this group. One chord is this and another chord will be this. So, what will be the expression for y? 
y will be equals to here for this this group ab the value of ab is changing from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so ab will get absorbed and left remaining expression will be c complement d complement and for this chord it will be cd okay so this is the expression for y now we have to get the expression for similarly we have to get the expression for z so again we will make the another k map for z chota chota bande Again, the input will be A, B, C, D, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, when output Z, we are getting Z is equals to 1, when A, B, C, D is 0, 0, 0, so here it is 1, when 0, 0, 1, 0, so 0, 0, 1, 0 is here, then 0, 1, double 0, then 0, 1, 1, 0, here it is. After that, we are getting 1 when z equals to 1 triple 0. So, here it is 1 triple 0. Now, what uh, here again uh, from 10 to 15, there will be don't care terms. Now, how we will make the group here? Again, we can roll this uh, k map vertically. So, this column and this column will be adjacent column. So, we can make the group of 8 here. So, we can make a oct here. So, what will be the expression for z? A, B will get absorbed and C will be absorbed because C is changing from 0 to 1. So, left will be D complement. So, z is equals to D complement. Now, we can we have find out the expression for w, x, y and z. Now, just we have to implement this boolean function with the help of logic gates and we will get the code converter a combinational circuit which will convert bcd to axis 3 so let me draw a logic circuit here so expression for w is a plus a or b and c or b and d we will called it like this expression for x it will be b complement d complement or b complement c or b c complement d complement next expression for y it will be c complement d complement or c d and for z it is d complement only now we have to implement this boolean function so suppose first we implement uh, z so for z we will have to in give an input we have to use a not gate only this input will be d and here the output will be z now for y here we can observe that this is x nor gate or you can say this is complement of x or gate ok. So, we can directly use a x nor gate like this and we will give the input here that is c and d. So, this is the output y. Now, next we have to implement x. For x, we have to implement, we have to use 3 AND gate and 2 OR gate. So, here it is 3 AND gate. The input of this 3 AND gate will be first B complement, D complement. 
सो हियर इट इज बी एंड वी आर यूजिंग अ नॉट गेट ही है सो हियर इट इज बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट वी कैन यूज डी फ्रॉम हियर एंड टेक अ नॉट गेट हियर सो हियर इट इज डी कॉम्प्लीमेंट नेक्स्ट बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी सो हियर इट इज बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड वी कैन यूज द सी फ्रॉम हियर then b c complement d complement so it was c it was b so b c complement was there so we will use the c and a not gate here so here it is c complement and d complement d complement was there so here it is d complement and we will give the output of this and gate into or gate so here it is x now we have to implement w uh let me rub it again or i should rub here now for w we have to use a or bc or bd so we have to use two and gate and one or gate so one and gate is this another and gate is here here the input b and c and here the input again b and d and next third input for or gate is a so here it is the expression here it is the logic circuit for w so this will be the internal circuit of bcd2 xs3 code converter similarly we can design the different types of code converter or any combinational circuit uh, of any combinational circuit whose input and output we know the whose input and output and according the truth table we can use this k map technique and we can um, uh, find out the boolean function and then this boolean function can be implemented like this logic circuit thank you very much for this uh, for uh, listening this lecture uh, soon we will come again with another topic thank you